From the Sunflower Shop, this is the Healthy Approach Podcast. I'm Brian Bradford. Sexual problems are common in both women and men and can occur at any age. Women are most likely to be satisfied with their sex lives if they are physically and psychologically healthy and have a good relationship with their partner. Although a host of changes in hormones, blood vessels, the brain, and vaginal area can all affect a woman's sexuality, managing these changes can be overwhelming. Joining me today is Randy Miles from Blue Bonnet Supplements and is here to discuss some great botanicals that are receiving amazing results. They are called Intimate Essentials for Her. Thank you for joining us today, Randy. Thank you for having me. Well, thanks for being back here. Today we're going to talk about sexual dysfunction for women, which I think is already funny because there's two men sitting here talking about <laughs> women dysfunctions. I think they really should be talking about us. But let's start with the science of aging. You know, what the common thread between aging and sexual health issues, how would you describe what's, what's the main issues women go through? You know, we spoke about men, you know, we're testosterone driven, we're women, obviously estrogen driven. And same thing, the process of aging, you start producing less and less est estrogen as a woman. And, and with that comes the same sort of thing. Uh, you start seeing fatigue issues. You start seeing, you don't respond to stress as well. Uh, and then you see physical things too. You, vaginal dryness, uh, trouble, trouble enjoying sex, pain involved, uh, things of those sorts. Um, but with women, it's important to keep in mind that we're, they're more complex than us, mm -hmm. you know. Us guys, you know, I like to say, we're not that smart. I, I, I don't know how we're still, you know, uh, they, I don't know how they keep us around still. Very but. true. Very true. <laughs> but, uh, you know, when women, you're talking about a, a physical issue, you're talking about hormonal issues, you're talking about psychological issues. And with women, you're looking around their peak and their prime is around 35, which is a full 10 years. Uh, which you can go any direction with that conversation, but their 10 years is where really they are at their peak with their hormone production, uh, fertile fertility, so on and so forth. Um, and after that, you kind of see the same decline. Uh, you start seeing uh, less and less estrogen production, but here's kind of where there's a catch a little bit. Um, so men are never given testosterone really ever until kind of it's an issue till later in life. Mm -hmm. Women, it seems like estrogen is like, what's one plus one? Estrogen. And you go to the doctor and, you know, okay, you need more estrogen. It's just kind of the go-to. And we, we know there's problems involved with that. That's right. And then a lot of women forget that they're, if they're on birth control pills at 15, 16 years old, that, that's estrogen. And so they're getting exposed to that estrogen, especially a concentrated source a lot earlier in life, uh, which causes problems to, down the road. You know, you start seeing, yeah, okay, cancer issues go up and so on and so forth. But you start seeing women go into menopause uh, a lot longer than they should. Instead of being this nice transitional period, it's now drawn out. Um, you also see a lot more PMS in younger. Mm -hmm. And again, there's so much estrogen, estrogen dominance, xenoestro, other things. So the exposure rate is just a lot higher. Yeah. And um, obviously I was saying, you know, you go to the doctor and the first thing, you know, depending on, uh, women and especially, I remember a lecture and we're talking about Rosalind Rogers and she sat there and she said, okay, which of you have been on birth control, you know, five years, two years, whatever, 15 years. And then she said, okay, which one of you guys have a libido? And one hand went up. Wow. Cause there's this direct correlation with that. I and you know, that's why the Intimate Essentials line is, has been great. You know, it's starting to address little things. You know, it's trying to get more awareness. And the nice thing is, you know, the for her specifically, it says right on the bottle for libido, energy, so on and so forth. We're, we're talking about it. And women are talking about it. They, and uh, it's good that's because right. it does need to be more awareness. To it. It's not about just the men. That's right. You know, just, and it's not about the little blue pill, which is kind of funny because they have a little pink pill. And what's her pink pill it's called? called? It's called Addy. 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 <laughs> What's it supposed and, to do? You know, it's very recent. You know, you're talking about like 15, you know, 15 years. I uh, know 2015, excuse me. It hasn't been around very long. And its purpose is to do the same thing. It, it increased stimulation, desire, so on and so forth. A little bit different than, you know, the men's more physical. But uh, you have to go to a special physician for this. Uh, and uh, you both have to commit to staying from alcohol because it's a side effect of it is blacking out. Blacking out? Blacking out. 
I'm sure I want my wife to run off and go get that right now. <laughs> and it's a terrible alternative, too, because yeah. it takes something like almost three months to start working. That's crazy. And so you know, where's your cost-benefit ratio there, That's too, right. versus going more of a natural approach and, and looking at all the other issues, the physical, the hormonal, the psychological uh, and that's that's the great part about the supplements that, that you guys carry is that a lot of them do address those issues. Exactly. And uh, for instance, we'll talk about kind of the one of my favorite is going to be ashwagandha. Love that herb. It's, it's just yeah. one of those great all around herbs. It is. Uh, most people respond ex exceptionally well to it. Good energy behind it. It actually helps a little bit with testosterone production, but nothing, you know, over over crazy or anything like that. And it helps you modulate stress helps you have more uh, better well-being and so that's really addressing like a big part of this yeah the physical part's important but you know the emotional part is definitely you know very very important and that's why i love blue bonnet y'all are addressing really all avenues of what's creating this problem you know getting to the root of it like you said yeah. that's what's so important instead of the band-aid approach that you know our system really yields a lot of and then you, you know we also will look at the physical part and that's kind of where we bring in this Damiana, which has been around for obviously a long time. And it's pretty straightforward what it does. It helps things be more sensitive. Mm -hmm. it, it specifically is for clitoral stimulation. And so more sensitivity, obviously that, that's gonna help a lot of, a lot of issues right mm -hmm. there. Better enjoyment, it's positive feedback, reciprocating. And also it helps with supporting vaginal lubrication because that's one of the number one things you hear complaints about on both sides of partners is you start seeing drop in estrogen. You start seeing that it's, it's just the common. Dryness. Yeah. That's right. The dryness part. Um, and then we look at something like arginine and again, everybody can benefit well from, you know, your arginine there. Yeah. Most people think it's just good for men. No, great for women, great for circulation. Again, great for stimulation, gets blood flow where it needs to go. Yep. And, that's where the nitro product is probably one of my favorite things. Uh, obviously, it's in the for her, which is great. Uh, that's in there. So there's actually uh, through 200 milligrams, but we have you know we have that product nitro, and just last longer. You talk about three hours versus an hour and a half. So the arginine helps stay in your system longer, helps vasodilate more nitric oxide, more blood flow. You're talking about three hours. And then, so this would be good for someone to add the nitro into, yeah, with their protocol with for her. Exactly right. Okay. You know, it's one of those extra bullets in the chamber to use. You know, you a multifaceted approach. Mm -hmm. Again, looking at all the different avenues of it, but adding something additionally like a nitro would be exceptional to do that. Uh, it also is great. You know, obviously for circulation is vasodilation. So there's a lot of other benefits to that. Mm -hmm. uh, mental acuity as far as getting you know more stimulated mentally. Yeah, you're moving oxygen around faster moving when you oxygen around That's a too. good thing. And then the product speaks for itself. You take it uh, two weeks and beyond and the studies show specifically that it raises, it helps you start making more nitric oxide. Yeah, So we're not great. just adding it now, like with an arginine, we're actually helping you long-term. Now, now you're making more of your own and that's right. obviously that's gonna help with the female issues here too. And, and I see you added maca to the product as well. Yeah, I did maca. Describe that a little bit more. So maca actually kind of has uh, a pro-testosterone effect in women without raising testosterone. So it tricks your body into actually thinking there's more testosterone there, but it doesn't actually raise your testosterone. Okay. And so it actually gives you that well-being and gives you that energy, gives you that virility, men and women, and also helps modulate stress. Mm -hmm. And so again, stress, energy, balance, hormones, all different approaches, not just like what's the physical problem. That's right. You've got to hit the emotional part. And I think yeah. that's huge because for men, I know it, our stress can lead to more physical type things, but for women, that's emotional. I mean, yeah, that's why I probably see more women who are having you know poor sexual dysfunction is really more they give antidepressants to those people a lot. Yeah, you know, and that so you've got to address the emotional content, and that's why I like some of these things that you're doing in the product. Yeah, and then there's also that social issue too. You think about that. I mean, women have to deal with that. Mm -hmm. What's their physical social image? How is she, how is she seeing? We, as men, yeah, we really, we we, yeah, we don't really care. <laughs> yeah, right. we like what you got, you don't have to look. You know? Exactly. <laughs> you know, but women are, they're, they're just, there's more facets there. There's more complexity there. And that's why, you know, seeing the lemon bomb in here, seeing the rhodiola in here. The ashwagandha. Ashwagandha. I mean, all hitting that stress, yeah. emotional content. Stress but energy, well-being, 
makes you feel better. I mean, all those things put together in one and then adding the other things to help actually get blood flow where it needs to the physical part and all that. And then the hormone balance um, actually can kind of come in in addition to because uh, we have another formula that's actually hormone balance. And it's, again, by Intimate Essentials, and it addresses more on the hormone side. Um, and the biggest problem that I have today is that you walk into the food store, you walk over to the female section, and you have some, uh, you have a customer say, hey, um, what do you have for PMS? Or what do you have for hormone balance? What do you have for this, that? And there's some great formulas, but they slap menopause all over it. Mm -hmm. That's and right. I'm sorry, women don't want a bottle that says menopause on it if they don't have menopause. Or That's even right. if they're premenopausal or pre premenopausal, they don't want to see it on the, on the label. That's right. They want to see hormone balance. Because honestly, that's what it's about. Totally agree. Even with PMS, even with menopause, you're talking about estrogen and how do you balance it. Mm -hmm. And that's what this formula is actually multifaceted. This can be taken for someone who's going to hormonal issues as younger, you know, the terrible, you know, PMS and mood swings and all that, still about balancing estrogen. That's right. Or later on in life, you're talking about estrogen starting to decrease and all the issues with that, you know, loss of bone, uh, you know, bone loss, uh, loss of focus, so on and so forth. You same kind of thing with men, you know, but uh, the formula specifically is, that's why I love that it says hormone balance on it. It makes a difference because you're right. It doesn't matter what age or really what level that estrogen may be at. It's all about the balance to the other hormones. That's why, like you said, whether you're PMS or whether it's in menopause, it is about the balance. So anything you do to help that ratio and balancing is what it's definitely all about. Well, you got some pretty cool herbs in here. I mean, I see black cohosh, Don Kwai, Vitex, one of my favorites, Chase Tree Berry. That's a great thing for helping to balance those hormones. Tell so, me about dandelion, though. Dandelion is in here. What are y'all using that for? <laughs> dandelion. All right, so... This one is one I use my little cheat sheet on here. Okay. Okay. Because I always look at it as kind of a diuretic. I also look at it mm -hmm. for, you know, I always thought of it in that kind of realm. And That's all what that. I do it as too. And, but it's also for liver. And okay. so estrogen basically gets broken down by the liver, good, bad, whatever. So if you have those bad estrogens in your system, your liver is going to be processing those. And the dandelion is actually specifically works with your liver. And yeah, it's a diuretic. Yeah, it helps with that. But you were, we're talking about that's a bonus for most women. Yeah, it takes yeah. The water weight off. It takes yeah. the water weight off. But yeah, that's specifically what it's doing in this awesome. in this formula. You know, it has another cool little tidbit, and I do want to just say it. You know, uh, it has here we go. Yeah, eliminate toxins. Yeah, heavy metals too. So the heavy metal ones I always like to mention too because you have so many people doing the keto. You have so many people doing weight loss, especially at this time of year, and you hold those estrogens actually in that fat tissue. Mm -hmm. So here you are doing keto, you're breaking down this fat. Okay, well, you're also breaking down some of those hormones that have been sticking around, especially the synthetic hormones. They love mm -hmm. to just stay in there and hang out, heavy metal, so on and so forth. That's right. And your liver, again, helping it process, helping it get get it yeah, out of the system. Restore those toxins and fat cells. Exactly, exactly right. right. So your your liver is so important for clearing all that out and not storing it again back in the fat cells. Exactly right. So I totally agree. And yes, you got DIM in there for the same reason. But a lot of people are kind of confused with DIM. Can you explain how that works? Yeah, on DIM, it's, uh, it's easiest to kind of look at it as, okay, you have good estrogen, bad estrogen. Let's just kind of think of it that way. That's right. Um, DIM has this affinity of helping uh, break down 16 hydroxy, the, the bad estrogens, mm -hmm. basically, um, because you do need estrogen. The problem is that some of the metabolites are toxic. And you, that's what you kind of saw with the prescriptions. You saw the concentrated uh, estrogens. And okay, yeah, great. But then what happens to them? Okay, they're petroleum based, you know. Your what body you, goes like, what whoa, 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 yeah, what, what do I do with this? Yeah. And it does convert it to toxin. We know that now because there's a direct link with that. Mm -hmm. um, and DIM, I look at it as it goes in there, gets rid of the bad estrogen, keeps your good estrogen ratio up. And really that's kind of the, the home run there. It can also help with uh, testosterone support as well too, right? Yeah, because of the balance issue, I think is really what that's it is. Right. Um, you know, that... that uh, uh, that being another benefit is great. I mean, men obviously, obviously can take DEM too. Mm -hmm. um, 
in fact, a lot of men that, you know, you can kind of tell their body whenever they have estrogen dominance and mm-hmm. usually mention it too. But with women, yeah, dim is super important to get that balance. I totally agree. I, even, I see you even got some L-theanine in here. Theanine, yeah. Again, the emotional support. Yeah, emotional support for relaxing. And obviously that's, that's obviously important. Theanine is great because it has this nice short-term effect uh, without sedating you. Uh, but, you know, I'd like to also mention, you know, some of the other herbs. Sometimes you can add like an ashwagandha. You can add like a targeted choice stress formula. Uh, in fact, to any of them, because mm-hmm. it, if you do need that little extra emotional support, uh, that's a great, great product. I think you guys have another one, uh, Gabatrol. Mm-hmm. You guys do really well with yes. great product. Yeah, another amino acid, yep. which is great for the brain. Yep, support that the the mental part of it too, mm-hmm. because we know the science on on the estrogens. We can we can get the good estrogens up. We can get the good progesterone up. You know, that's that that's that ratio that we want to help women with is have your good estrogen, have your good amount of progesterone. And if we need to go the testosterone route, that's obviously there's other ways to do that. That's right. But it, it really is balance, regardless of young or old. It is. And you're addressing the circulatory side of it, the, the blood flow and oxygen levels. We are. And the biggest component still left out is that emotional support. So you're right, whether it's stress support by targeted products by blue bonnet or if it's something i mean y'all did a great formulation already would you take both this together the hormone balance and the libido product you can okay yeah you can actually uh, primarily because you, you notice there's a little bit of variations on on the herbs there one is more circulation vitality we're going this direction emotional support is also the, ba- the baseline and then over here we're going okay estrogen uh well-being get rid of bad estrogens that have accumulated. So you could actually very well take them together. Perfect. Yeah. Is there a better time than another during the day in taking this? On on specifically the uh, f- hormone balance, I usually say nighttime. Nighttime for That's that. kind of my go-to on that, primarily because that's when you're balancing your hormones. That's when you're resetting. That's when you control all delete. That's dim can stay on the system. When your liver is detoxing too, right? Right. A lot of times. Right. Uh, as far as the for her, I was like, no, that's, let's stick that during the day because you're talking about arginines in there, Damiana. You're, th- you're talking about all these really hot herbs that are, you know, stimulating. Mm-hmm. And so could let's do that. The energy. Yeah. That's what it could. Right. Okay. Um, but the good news is that there's this long term effect, not like a, well, actually, that 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 Addy, it's not even not even a, a one night. You know, hey, take it tonight, pill. It's like, exactly. hey, see you in three Maybe months. Bed, yeah. <laughs> you know, so this is this is a lot better approach, anyways. And uh, one thing that I just want to touch on too is you'll notice there's alpha lipoic in there. Yes. Uh, primarily, that's in there because as estrogen starts to decrease, you 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 actually start having issues with breaking down glucose as well, insulin resistance. So it's kind of hand in hand. And so by putting that alpha poke in there, you're making those receptors more sensitive so you can break down sugar better, so on and so faster. forth. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's one of, I use that, I see diabetics take them a lot or people with sugar or insulin resistant issues and it works wonders for them. And then uh, one thing I'll touch on too is you'll have women come in and, and you're probably talking about more on the younger side uh, with uh, fibroids, polycystic, and again, that's a hormone balance mm-hmm. issue. Mm-hmm. And so that's why I still like the formula there that says hormone balance on it because we're talking about the same thing. That's right. It, we're still addressing the issue and it doesn't have menopause right on it. Wow. You know? So is there anybody that should not take this? You know, um, here's, here's my uh, catch 22, I guess you could say. I really, when someone comes in and they throw the, I've had breast cancer, they throw that out there. I always take a step back. And I look at and see, okay, how well versed are you as a customer? You know, is it your, this is kind of like where I just, I'm starting or I've taken the initiative to learn a lot about what's going on in my system, my body. And that's where that customer, I'll be more engaging with them as far as explaining why and what you should, shouldn't take and all that. You know, I think black cohosh kind of gets the bad, oh, it's estrogen. And I was like... Not once, not ever, has any hormone estrogen-like product ever come out of black cohosh. Mm-hmm. But since it acts like it, or it's an agonist, actually sits on the opioid receptor, um, it's kind of got this little cloud on it. Sure. And so I stay clear of it, 
just because I feel like the customer is going to go to the doctor and go like, Hey, and he's not going to know. I'll be honest with you. He, he knows his drugs. That's great. That's his, that's his forte. Nutritionists know, you know, nutrition and know sure. the supplements. And so I, I always throw my little word of caution there and, and I'll say, well, let's go a different approach. Number one, I'd be like, you're taking dim all day long. I mean, I'll tell you that already. Yeah, um, you know, but you have to look at a little bit bigger picture. Um, so other than that, you know, that's the one I'm only cautious with. And I'm doing that as a service for the customer. I'm doing that as a, hey, if it was me, I would learn everything I can and, and know the truth. But if you don't, that's okay. We need to be com you need to be comfortable with what you take. And you want to know, like, I take this, I know exactly why. I know exactly what everything does, and I've actually studied it, and I know that. That's what's important. To yeah. Agree. Yeah, usually when that, act, that, that effect, I was going to go the probiotic route. Mm-hmm do everything from internally because you know there's a lot of probiotics out there that specifically address women issues vaginal health childbearing mood, mood. Yeah. yeah i mean the research on mood alone has just been very important for women yeah there's specific strains that are very key for that and uh you know uh, we're fortunate because blue bonnet does make uh our probiotic or we make a women's version in it for everybody and the ones in the women specifically address mood vaginal health pregnancy so on and so forth and they have human clinicals on them Oh, and great. so it's great to have that tool too. And it's probiotics. I mean, what, I mean, it's great. It's great for your system, great for your body. And it doesn't interfere with anything. So that's, yes. even if you are a medication, bonus. yeah, definitely a bonus. So is there anything else you could suggest that to help women with sexual health improvement? Um, we touched a little bit on the nitro, mm -hmm. you know, um, definitely something that anybody can take. Uh, that one, you know, we'll sometimes mention someone will say, well, I know if you take a lot of arginine, you kind of have to be cautious about that. And I'll tell someone, well, if you're prone to viruses, you're prone to get sick or you have some kind of underlying viral, that's you should be on something anyways. You should be on like a lysine. You should be on an NAC, especially now. I mean, you talk about coronavirus and you talk about bird flu, pig flu, all that. I mean, boom, back to NAC. That's right. You know, so it's got these great antiviral properties. There's another one called monolaurin. It's a big personal favorite of mine. Yeah, so that one kind of stops a lot of the viruses in its tracks. But NAC, obviously, we know the long term. And then and you're referring to the cloud around arginine is because of outbreaks and so forth on the herpes virus. Yeah, because viruses, yeah. They'll, they'll live off of ar arginine. They, they, they like it, That's right. you know, but uh, there's ways to offset it. There is. You know, and also, you know, we talked about Long Jack. Uh, so here, here's the best part. A woman can take Long Jack, uh, especially for if they're doing it for endurance and they're doing it for sports, there are actually direct studies that show increasing performance and, and endurance, athletic issues, anything like that. And so it is a product that they can take also on top of that. Awesome, which uh, we talked about studies a while back about what mm -hmm. came out on the Long Chat. So it's a pretty interesting herb. That's yeah, sure Long Chat. a lot yeah. for men and women. Yeah, and MIT has their name behind it. It says a lot, <laughs> they obviously. Did, they got, did some great research around it. And then um, we talked about a little bit of, about the fibroids and all that. Mm -hmm. So obviously the hormone balance, again, mm -hmm. same thing, but that's also why I grabbed this uh, target of choice, pain and inflammation, because that's kind of what we're talking about. We're talking about pain associated with that. And we're also talking about an inflammatory issue too. Um, and then I'll throw my little, little old school, like one of my favorite things, if, if someone's trying, we're talking about fertility, right? Okay, everything we're talking about here is hormone balance, right? That's right for her that's right hormone balance for her we're talking about fertility also at the same time and by doing that you, you start looking at some of these old school remedies that i always like to tell, throw in there uh guafiacin yeah because yeah. it actually helps thin that mucosal lining so it's easier for the sperm to yeah, have implantation that's exactly right and it's, it's a little old school but you know what let me tell you i've, I've had a, many women tell me that it works fantastic to yeah. add that to it so i just wanted to throw that last little no, it's tidbit, a great in tidbit. There. it really is yeah but basically, the hormone balance for her is for everybody. Yeah. I mean, women-wise, whether you're still menstruating or menopausal years, right? Exactly right. So that's what's nice about that. Y'all did a great job in your product formulations. I'm really impressed. And I think this is going to help a lot of women out there. Yeah, I, I hope so. And feedback's been great so far. And uh, we're, just, we're just happy that it's available for the customer. Well, thanks so much for being here again today, Randy. Thank you. That's going to do it for this episode of the Healthy Approach Podcast. Be sure to check the show notes for a special offer and subscribe if you like this podcast. You can also help us spread the word by rating and sharing with your friends and family. If you'd like to learn more about ways to improve your sexual health, go to sunflowershop.com. That's shop with two P's and an E, 
or visit us at one of our three locations in the DFW area.